Hello there, welcome to lesson 18 of unit two, part, or yeah, part two uh, of HTML and unit two of computer science discoveries, planning a multi-page website. Already you have um, gotten together in your groups, you've discussed norms, like uh, how you're gonna handle conflict, um, decision-making processes. Maybe you even have a team leader um, and some of the responsibilities for each teammate. Last lesson in lesson 17, you worked with classes um, and formatting and giving style to certain parts of your web page. Now we're going to be planning a multi-page website. You're going to be laying out the groundwork, having a plan in place so that you can move forward with ease. So uh, the question of the day, how do we plan a web page as a group? You're going to work in teams to plan out the final website and create a sketch of each page. Then you're going to download the media that you need for their, for your site. Um, at the end of the activity, you're going to decide how, to, how the work will be distributed among the, yourselves and report whether everyone has agreed to the plan. So you're going to be needing a website for purpose doc and a plan for your multi-page website. So what you're going to need to do is um, before you move on to this part, you're going to need to create a plan. Okay. So what you need, is all your page names. Obviously, every single web page is going to have, or site is going to have an index.html. Okay, you describe that. So if Mr. Gatsos and I um, are doing a web page for Tech Club, we're going to do um, the description is going to have an explanation of. Club. Um, it's all about who is in it. And so forth. Meanwhile, um, we'll put me in charge. Oliver's in charge of the index.html. Okay, next, the next page, we have the history. Okay, and that is going to have um, historical events and um, like championships and that sort of thing when we won. Um, List of championships. Uh, let's see. And events we have participated in and such. Okay. That will be Mike. And then we're going to have a page for join. So a join page where you can find an application to join, uh, sign up, and touch. So you need to have a description. That's the key. This will be Mr. Mac. Okay. Who else is going to have? We'll have a... Uh, Let's see, Lisa. Lisa will have oh join dot html. Lisa will be on this page. Gotta be under who's in charge. Okay. Name of the page. Um images dot html. Okay, she's good at images, so 
This is where all of our picks and script. Okay. So that's the page. These are the page names. This is the description of each page. And then who's in charge of that page. Um, then we're going to have a sketch. Basically, this is just a checkbox. Did you do it? Did you not do it? Okay. So then we need to describe the tags we're going to have. Okay. Tag. Remember, tag would be uh, going to have an H1. Okay, style, um, we want that to be cursive, font, uh, we want it to be red, okay, the body, we want it to be uh, black, we're going to have a black background, um, Paragraph tags, I'm going to have that be, let's see, all the paragraphs, uh, red, how about uh, something light, like a cream color, uh, classes, probably do um, all of the Image paragraph. I'm going to give those um, cursive and a light color. Okay. Cursive and light color. Uh, let's see. So our headers, how about dark blue sun service. All right, it'd be a little bit more fun. Okay, make a plan. So in this instance, how your team going to split up the work, you might each do a page. Like all of the styling and all of the content. Uh, maybe two people are going to do the styling and two people are going to do the content for all of the pages. Um, whatever you decide, you figure that out. But everybody needs to agree to the plan and sign off on it. I would like to see a signature here for each group. Um, that would be an important thing. And then you're going to get all of your images. Get them all. Find all of your images, whether you take them or not. Uh, if you want to take pictures, that's fine. But put in the file name. Like, I need to have... You should change the names. Like, if it's of a frog, frog dot img or dot jpg whatever it's going to be and then give information about it author where'd you find it make sure you give us where you found it so and give it a simple name if it's some crazy name then that's not going to help so frog dot jpg um talk about where it's found and with the name of it Okay, all of these, this is what you're going to do, all of this, whatever you need to do. Okay, if you have four images, go ahead and put four images on. If you have eight, fill up the eight. If you need more space, right click and add, insert row below. Okay, and keep adding rows. Don't just like pack 20 of them in, into a, so right here, insert row below and it will add a row. That's how you do that. All right, so now you have a fourth page. All right, so then you move on to your part two. Okay. 
And right now is when you upload all of the images. All of the images. Okay. And what you should do, if you're going to do pair programming, okay, which you will do, click on pair programming and add all your partners. Okay. Whatever your names are. Whoa. This takes me back. So then click on all the partners you have. Gee whiz. All right. So that is how you uh, do that. To add an image, you click on add image and you upload all the files. Okay. You upload the file, click on upload file and wherever your images are. I don't know where you kept your images. I would put them in one um, place though. So we'll talk about that later. And there you go. So um, I suppose if you haven't downloaded images yet, so here's what you do. Let's say you go to um, I'm going to go to open source images. Okay, you got Pixabay, 1.8 million setting free. You got Unsplash. Okay, I'm going to go to Pixabay. And you type in frog. All right, and here's all the frogs. Okay. Frog wildlife, and then you would right click it, save image as frog with lily, and I'm going to put it in my downloads. Click save, and then, so make sure you click save. I'm not going to because I don't really want it right now. Click save, and then you will find it in your downloads. And that's how you download a picture. Um, and you can add them, and then when you go find that picture, click add image, upload file, go to downloads, and then find frog and lily, or frog with lily, whatever it was called. You just keep doing that over and over with your images. So there you have it. That's lesson 18. Uh, let me know what questions you have, either in the comments or in class. We will see you later.